Hey everyone, I'm Eko here and this is my pool video for Arania and Sephiroth so I'll be going for both of them, both their FRs and uh, preferably Arania first I... Uh, you know what, let's, let's begin because I have a feeling it's going to be a very long pool um, I don't remember them releasing uh, Arania's uh, uh, FR so I'm pretty sure this is new and then they also released Herbity which is new and also Sephiroth's FR which is also new <laughs> So, it's pretty rare that they, they release um, three weapons at once. Normally, I think it's just BT and FR, normally. And then um, a reoccurring FR. So, I'm pretty, I'm not sure why they actually did this, but yeah, I'm pretty sure they are, they are like, trying to um, get more people to pull. Get more people to pull. I'm not sure if this is um, accelerated. Like, um, like, if JP had this uh, later on, or if... Um, Or if uh, this is the normal sequence of events. But yeah, so it's pretty strange that they did this. So I'll be pulling on uh, Aranya's banner because I want her burst. And I think it only appears on... <laughs> yeah, she appears on her banner. So this is a guaranteed burst of uh, Aranya's, right? So unless I put on the wrong banner, then it's kind of my fault. <laughs> but yeah, so Aranya's burst is down. I just need her FR and Sephiroth's FR. FR. I need to check though to see um if uh I can pity the FRs on uh like like Sephiroth's FR on Arania's banner. Oh that's a pretty nice uh, uh lance. Lance? Spear? Uh, one of them. <laughs> yeah I'm not sure if I can do that. Let me just take a look. Uh I can, okay I can. So I'll just probably continue pulling on Arania's banner, seeing as I've already built some PT towards it. Yeah, I'll be using tickets because of how many weapons I'm going for. Okay, go. Okay. Uh, again, uh, it is both Araneas and <laughs> Sephiroth, so it's gonna be a pain. Hopefully, I can get one before reaching the pity of the other, because I suspect I'll have to pity something. I finished playing FF16. I almost 100% the game. Um, just you know, delaying the inevitable, just doing all the side quests and stuff. I might even do a third playthrough. I'm not sure about it yet. Uh, but the ending, I feel like the ending, um, FF, ooh, I have too many weapon sets, rare, <laughs> because I actually did clear my inventory before I, before I, uh, started pulling, so, yeah, I'm not sure why, um, or did I forget to clear, oops, <laughs> oops, anyway, uh, I finished, uh, FF16, and I, I, I think that 15 had a better ending, in my opinion, because uh, you actually you can actually really feel like like it fits the, the story, right? And also because um the ending wasn't really ambiguous, like we we all know what happened to Noctis, right? It's just that um for sixteen, oh purple, for sixteen, uh, some people are saying that he lived and they they gave a bunch of evidence. So um I'm just gonna believe them because I rather I rather the, the the hero lives as compared to someone like Noctis who don't get me wrong I I. Uh, I really like the fact that he had to sacrifice himself and stuff like that but uh, I would rather he leave <laughs> I would rather have him have a happy ending but yeah I think throughout the entire of 15 he really laid up to the fact that he wasn't going to have a happy ending in that sense right he was going to sacrifice himself for everyone else but yeah so and another thing I, I, I not really to nitpick but just to point out that um, Clive constantly says that he is um, fighting together with everyone and stuff like that, right? But and honestly, in most of the fight, you're kind of alone. You're doing all the damage and stuff. And even for the um, Ultima fight, you're also fighting by yourself. And... Ooh. Purple? Ah, okay. And... Yeah, so... Doesn't really have the element of... Um, how should I say? Of uh, a team... Even though uh, he did say, you know, he did that, that there is a, 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 a team of people, you know, you have uh, Gav, the scout, you have your, your brother, and, and uh, oops, spoiler, but it's been out for like two or three weeks already, so you know, uh, you have Jill, you know, there are people there, but they aren't really very significant, I feel. And I feel like I would like to know more about their backstory, which is probably like a DLC, I guess. <laughs> but 
even in 15, you, you could feel like, um, like, okay, in 15, I really like uh, Prompto and, and, and Ignis, right? And I really hated Gladio because of the way he treated in one of the chapters. I think it was after Luna's death. Yeah, I really hated Gladio then. <laughs> then. And then, and, and when, when Ignis lost his eyes, you were like, oh my god, you know, I can't leave him behind, stuff like that. I'm not sure about the rest of you, but I couldn't leave him behind. So I just, I just, I brought him, but uh, in, in fact, I even uh, stick to him throughout the entire uh, path down the, the, into the swamp. So, yeah, I don't really feel like that for your companions in 16, right? For, for Jill, yes, she has her little backstory, but even then it was just, oh, um, she was stuck there. And, and don't get me wrong, she has a very tragic backstory, it's just that we don't see it. So, for me, I don't really feel much. Like, she was forced to do a lot of stuff, yes, but... Or she was forced to witness a lot of stuff. But I don't see it, you know. I don't see um, how she had to struggle. So, it doesn't really... Uh, I don't really, I can't really relate, yes, that's what I'm trying to say, I can't really relate to what she's trying, what, what she's uh, going through. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I got her, I got her FR on a blue orb. Blue orb, guys. I got you on a blue orb. <laughs> uh, um, honestly, seeing as I'm so close to PT, right, it's just another two more pulls. I might as well just do it, just so that I can uh, save some of my uh, high power stones, right? So I'm just gonna, I guess, I, I guess I'll just let it play out anyway because it's just two more pulls. Uh, there is a chance for me to get another FR but honestly I'm not banking on it. <laughs> As for my uh, Shinryu stage, I'm probably using uh, Aranea and Sephiroth because uh, yeah, the two of them actually go really well with each other. I, if I didn't get Aranea's burst, I would- ooh! <laughs> what? Oh my god! <laughs> Okay, so so pulling again was a really good choice. I mean, it's blue. It's blue I don't care, but oh. <laughs> okay, okay. Honestly, it doesn't really matter who I pick because I still need both of their weapons. So, you know what, Saffron. <laughs> wow, that, that was a really really good pull. Also, I put I put three Saffron as well. Yeah, correct, correct. So I got it on the. Um, one of the pulls, I I did the last two, yeah, yeah, and, and one more was uh, Arania's one. Yeah, I, I keep thinking I had one of the IFRs already. So yeah, guys, uh, <laughs> I'm just going to end the commentary. Oh, wait, I wanted to um do the free multi for uh, Squall and Re Renoa. Oh my god. What is this luck? Not only did I get the burst, I got the FR as well. And like a bonus, I also got <laughs> scores EA. Yeah. Oh my god. This is a really good pool. <laughs> so I'm still compiling this. Uh, I know the banner changed and stuff like that, but I'm still compiling this. Um, it's another, what, 10 more days. So yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll release it. Uh, I'll, I'll release it at one shot. Oh, I might, I might, I might do this just so I can save on uh, the, the tokens. Yep. <laughs> okay, uh, off track a bit, but yeah. So anyway guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the Shinryu video.